Muhammad. Yeah. Oh, salam alaikum. Salam. Oh, salam alaikum, everyone. Oh, welcome to the Fairies Live. Salam, everybody. Oh, you know what? Auntie Poppy was in town today, so mm -hmm. I thought maybe I could invite her over for our Ooh. live show. Oh, I'm very pleased to be here. Alhamdulillah, it's so nice to have you on board. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> how's, uh, how's your day going, Auntie oh, Poppy? Oh, it's been great. Yeah? I spent it mostly in the kitchen. Really, yeah. really. I'm just preparing for iftar tonight. I'm, you know, just Ooh. cutting these vegetables, but I've got to peel this, you know, carrot and make sure it goes in the food compost. What? What, yeah. what, what? What's that? What's that food compost? Yeah, you know, the ones that you have in the kitchen that you use every day? Oh, uh, um, uh, no. What? No. What we, throw the, we throw the rubbish in the, in the rubbish bin. <laughs> That's what we do. Pe uh, Auntie Poppy, what? you should always recycle your food waste. Huh? Well, well, you know, if you throw it in the, in the, just the normal trash, then, then it, will, it won't be recycled and it won't be like, you know, it will go to the wrong place. What, what, what does recycle? Ah, oh, you, you know, well, in, in today's society, everyone recycles. Oh. Maybe, maybe when you were younger, you weren't taught to recycle. Well, but... Muhammad, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> well, Auntie Poppy, can I ask you something? Yeah. When you were younger, mm -hmm. um, you know the world, mm -hmm. was it just as messy as it is today? No, no. You the know, world has always been beautiful. Oh, subhanAllah. Because I was watching this documentary. Mm -hmm. And in that documentary, they were showing, it was about the sea world and sea life. Oh. And they went fishing. Oh. But instead of finding fish, yeah. they found plastic. No. And I was like, how? Oh. How is that even possible? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's and, awful. And then when they found the fish, they cut the fish up. Oh. And they found the fish had even eaten plastic. And <gasps> I was like, that's not fish food. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's really awful. So, oh, poor fish. So, <laughs> so, so what's that? Is that, well, is that all to do with that uh, recycling or what, what did he just call it? Yeah, recycling. That's oh. all my mum said. Oh. I told my mum, how comes the fish eat so much plastic? Is that the new fish food? And she was like, no, that's not what fishes are supposed to eat. Hmm, They're that's... supposed to eat each other <gasps> and other algae and plants. Hmm. But, you know, hmm? because we leave so much rubbish behind everywhere we go, and we just throw it and we use so much plastic mm -hmm. and we don't recycle, mm -hmm. it ends up in like in the ocean oh. or in or in on the land. Uh, I, I thought I thought it simply goes to the like rubbish place. Uh, well, um, it can. If, mm -hmm. if you do recycle it, mm. shall I tell you how to recycle? Yeah. Okay, well. Please do. You can recycle your paper. Okay. You can recycle your plastic. Oh. And it goes to these individual bins. So, for example, mm. the green bin is normally for plastic. Oh. Or sometimes it's blue. Okay. And sometimes you can have a blue bin for glass. <gasps> yeah, oh. that's right. You can recycle oh. glass. Wow. And then the green one is always for food waste. That's exactly what I'm doing here. So and I've been doing it wrong all along. Exactly. So, uh, you know, in the kitchen, for example, when you cut the cucumber or yeah, tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, well, I tend to eat the whole tomato. Me but too. Let's, let's I think. love it. <laughs> <laughs> when, you eat, when you cut the peppers. Yeah. You know that green, green thing at the top? Yeah. What do you call that? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. But that, that's not edible. And, mm. and nor are the seeds. So you can put that into the green bin. And what, what, will, what will happen is the bin man will come and collect it. Okay. And then they will put it somewhere hmm? that it belongs. So, for example, oh. all this compost will be put back into the ground. Okay. And it will help more plants grow. Okay. But then, then earlier you said uh -huh. something, a word. You called it uh, um, um, uh, landfill. Landfill, what, yeah. What, what, so that is the landfill. Is that where, where all the rubbish goes? Well... You see, landfills are nice places. They're very, very smelly mm. and they look very, very ugly. Just like my bin at home in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just like your bin, mm. but a thousand times bigger. Because imagine all the aunties in the whole of the world mm. put their rubbish in their bin and then the bin man collects it and then eventually it ends up in a landfill. <gasps> and then it, it's just like a big, big, 
bin for the whole world and it's just so much litter and so oh. much yuckiness. Oh, I feel awful. I feel really guilty now. Oh, Yeah. Auntie Poppy, that's actually really, really good because oh. together yeah. we, could, we could help make the world a better place really? by recycling. You know what? Yeah. I cook a lot every day. Yeah. Yes, I do. I mean, tonight I'm making them samosas. Really? Yeah. You're making samosas tonight? Yeah. Oh, that's and you so know yummy. what? Uh -huh. I'm going to recycle. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What goes in the samosas? Oh, vegetarian. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds super yummy. Yeah. Oh. They are my my samosas are the best. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! Mm. Alhamdulillah. Mm. I would love to have iftar at your place. Oh, you're most welcome, oh, Mohammed. Is Pip gonna be there? Obviously he is. Really? He's in monster school today. Oh. Yeah, learning how to be. He's got actually an exam. Really? Yeah. Oh, what's his exam yeah. on? It's it's about uh, being kind. Oh, it's about being yeah. kind. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like you know, monster kind. Oh, monster because kind. Because monsters aren't known to be kind, but oh. but you know, we we just like we learn to be kind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was speaking to Uncle the other day, mm -hmm. and uh, like at the Majalis, mm -hmm. and he was talking about akhlaq and how we can better ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you know, he was saying that in Islam, yeah. we're taught to be really, really kind, like extra kind. Exactly. Because... I always take Pip to Majalis. Oh, wow. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's you great. Know, Uncle was telling me mm -hmm. that a kind person is like, for example, if you do someone a favor, yeah. that, or if someone gives me a glass of water, mm -hmm. then because I'm kind, I would want to give him a glass of water too. Aww. Or like if someone buys me food, I want to buy the other person a food. Aww. But Allah, on the other hand, He doesn't need something from us. He's just kind to us out of His own mercy and kindness. Aww, yeah? Subhanallah. Uh, well, you know what? It's now time for Captain News. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Welcome to Safiri's News. I am News Captain or Captain News and have I got news for you. In the news this week, there was a tragic incident of an egg who tried to climb up a wall, even though he had no arms or legs. Yikes. The reporter at the scene of the incident said that Eddie the egg almost reached to the top when he lost his balance and he went splat on the floor. People watching the entire scene unfold rushed to his aid but it was too late. There was no way that Eddie the egg could be put back together. On other news, scientists have proven that oxygen is a toxic gas. Based on calculations, it is estimated that 7.8 billion people will die in the next 100 years. Professor Skrulus claims that anyone who breathes oxygen into their lungs will eventually die. So far, he has diagnosed every one of his patients with death within 80 to 100 years. Researchers are looking into the subject. The Prime Minister has been threatened to lose his job because he keeps claiming to be a transformer. In an interview with the press, he tells the people that he can change. In other news today, Seti the Sofa has been taken into police custody for stealing everything that was left on him. Children at the nearby residence phone into the local police station to report missing items like rubbers, rulers and even a 50 pence piece. When detectives arrived at the scene, Seti the Sofa was fast asleep. So they got to work to find the missing items and lo and behold, they had been eaten by Seti. When questioned, the only response Seti had was, I was hungry and that rubber looked delicious. He went on to do a massive burp. Well, he will have to do a lot of explaining to the judge. After all, Seti is just a sofa. A patient has been diagnosed being addicted to soap. Researchers at the University of Seferis are looking into the matter, although most say that it is very peculiar Many believe that this may be the beginning to a new era, but the doctors simply claim that the patient is now clean. A report has recently come in of a celebrity wedding between a blender and a pear. Billy the blender explains, well, 
when I saw Pam the pair, I knew she was the one. Even when she was about to be put into the blender, I refused to spin my blades. Pam was too lovely to be mashed up and made into a tasty dessert. What a brave blender and a very romantic one too. Pam the pear says the following. Oh my God, I was frightened of the blender. I thought, well, this is the end of me. It is all over, I'm going to be smushed. But to my amazement, my wonderful hero, Billy, came to the rescue and tipped himself over. He saved my life. Well, who said that there aren't stories with happy endings anymore? Billy and Pam are now enjoying their honeymoon at the upscale DIY store in the Bahamas. Have fun, guys. In ancient times, the amazing Egyptians built pyramids that we still visit today. How on earth did they do it? Well, an ice cube and a carrot set themselves the challenge of finding out exactly how. Ian the ice cube and Courtney the carrot took it upon themselves to build their own pyramid in their garden. Unfortunately, they didn't get very far because it was a hot summer's day and Ian the ice cube was starting to melt. He had to, be, he had to pop back into his freezer to make sure he didn't completely disappear. While he was cooling off, Courtney the carrot tried her best to build the food waste into something that looked like a triangle shape, except she ended up getting lost in it. Oh dear. She tried so hard to get herself out that she made an awful fuss, so much noise her neighbours heard her screaming, so they hopped over the fence in her garden to rescue her. Well, that was the end of their pyramid for those two. However, it did end up being a lovely house for the flies to make a home in. On more national news today, police have reported that the clock tower Big Ben has gone missing for the past week, but they claim that they couldn't find the time to look for it. Thanks for joining us today. Over to you, Muhammad Ali, back in the studio. Ah, oh, welcome back, guys. Ah, oh, so so you know, I was thinking. Um, do people used to recycle back in the day? I've never heard of recycling altogether. Because you were saying that, <laughs> yeah, you were saying that you never used to recycle and no, that's a new word. No, not at all, not at all. But no. you know, I, I found out mm. that actually a very, very long time ago, yeah. this, this concept of recycling mm -hmm. was always about. You know, mm. like for example, in their homes, people would use their old swords oh. or pots Wow. And because it was made of like a special type of metal okay. that you can use over and over again, mm -hmm. what they did was they would boil it and heat it oh. so, so hot mm. and then they could mould it to something else. Wow. Like for example, coins. Mm? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they could make coins what? out of they, they use They, they mould them. Like they, they take the coins and they recycle them. Yeah, exactly. But oh. they didn't call it recycling. They probably called it something else. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. That's uh -huh. very smart. But did you know what? that 75% of rubbish yeah. can actually be recycled today? No. But, but. No. <laughs> that's a lot. That is a that lot. That is a lot. So do you think we actually recycle all 75%? Uh, Let me well, tell you. Maybe not. Auntie Poppy, we actually only recycle 30% of our waste. <gasps> so imagine around 70% of the rubbish that we put in our bins yeah. just end up in, in these landfill sites and mm. oceans and mm. sometimes even in my front garden. Oh, you know what? I'm probably one of those people. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the reasons. Naughty auntie puppy. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so bad. Uh, poor Earth. Yes, poor, poor Earth. Earth. Yeah, poor mm. Earth. Oh, you know, we throw away so much paper and wood that if 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 we were to like if we were to like not throw it away mm -hmm. and we would like recycle it or reuse it we yeah. could heat 50,000 homes no. for 20 years wow that's how much we throw that's away a lot. yeah wow. i mean sometimes sometimes i get junk mail in the post do you ever yeah, get that yeah 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 do you all the time yeah and i just chuck it in the bin really yeah so do i yeah well actually i don't chuck it in the bin at all no i chuck it in the recycling bin oh 
Yeah. So are they special bins for that then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, that is amazing. You know, you should ask you should ask the government which bin you should use. Okay. I'm sure you already have one. It's yeah. probably in your in your driveway or something. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Pip has told me something about that. Ah. But I never really paid attention. Oh. No. You know, no. Some, sometimes I feel like we can learn so much from the younger mm. ones. Right? I, you know, yeah, you are probably right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm going to do that. Uh, what's it called now again? Recycling. Yeah, yeah from now on. <laughs> Sounds mm. like a great plan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. hmm. I, I like it. Yeah. I like looking after Earth. Oh, Earth. Yeah, it's a great place. Oh, Subhanallah. Yeah, yeah. Earth is yeah. so beautiful. I know. Subhanallah. <laughs> you know, another thing that you can recycle. Yeah. Um, question. Do you, when you get milk, do you get them in milk cartons or do you get them in milk bottles? In cartons, in obviously. In cartons, really? Yeah. We okay. go to the supermarket. Oh, you go to well, the supermarket? Well, I send Pip. Oh, you send he Pip? takes his time. Oh, really? But, but he gets it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I was younger, my mum used to send me to the supermarket to buy milk and bread. And oh. I used to come back. And like, we used to get these little coins and then you can put the coin into a little machine. Oh. And the machine will give you like a little slime or a bouncy yeah. ball. Bouncy balls are yeah, my favourite. Yeah, I know those. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. it, bless you. You know, so the milk cartons, if, if they're made of cardboard, you can you can recycle the cardboard. Mm. And if they're made of plastic, you can recycle the plastic. Mm. And if they're made of glass, you can recycle the glass. That is amazing. Yeah. Who thought of all of that? Well. That's great. <laughs> That's absolutely great, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. But make sure you put mm. them in the correct recycling bin. So you don't want to put the glass where the paper goes, because then, then, then the recycling centre will get really, really confused. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'll try to learn more about it. You're great, Mohammed. Oh, Thanks thank for you. teaching me all that. You know, I've been reading so much about recycling, and I found out uh, if you do throw away a glass bottle into the trash, do you know what mm. happens? What? Well, it ends up in one of these landfill sites, but it can take up to 4,000 years to disappear. Wow. 4,000 years. Subhanallah. Yeah. That is crazy. I know. That's a very, very long time. <gasps> but you know what? Auntie Penny. Auntie, what? Uh, sorry, I called you Poppy. Auntie Penny. Poppy. Auntie Poppy. <laughs> it's so similar. Oh, Auntie no. Poppy, yeah. we have a caller on the line. <gasps> Oh, I'm excited! Salam alaikum! Oh, salam! Salam, darling, salam! What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Kosal and I'm calling from London. Oh, it's Kosal from London! Oh, such a lovely name! Oh, so Masha Allah, Kawthar! Oh. oh, you know, Pip has told me all about you guys! And I'm so excited to finally meet one of you! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah. Is this the first time you've ever met Auntie Auntie Poppy? Yeah. 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 Do you want to do you want to yeah. say? Do you have any questions for? Her? Do you want to say something yeah. to her? Salam, Kotha. <laughs> Kotha, are you still Salam. there? Salam. Yeah. Oh, perfect. You can ask me about anything, especially samosa recipes. <laughs> yeah, I'm really Did good it? at them. <laughs> Get out books about you. Are we what? Sorry? We, I think she said, are we going to get a book about you? <gasps> oh. oh. Imagine someone wrote a book about you. Yeah. I would feel so special if someone wrote a book about yeah. me. Oh, I, not, I'm not sure about me. I'm, I'm just like, I'm not that interesting as much as you, Muhammad. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. auntie, you're so humble, oh, mashallah. Oh, so sweet of you, Kawthar. Kosa, Very sweet. Because I have a suggestion. Why don't you write a poem about Auntie Poppy? Oh. Uh, and maybe together we can all make a book. Oh, so exciting. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then all of you guys at home can also help and give us your great ideas and drawings. Absolutely. And maybe we can create something together. Yes, that is a great yeah. idea. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Oh, Kothar, are you looking forward to eat? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Me ah, too. Awesome, awesome. Have you been fasting? Yeah. Masha Allah. Oh, Masha Allah. Oh. That is very good, Kalthar. So proud of you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for calling in, Kalthar. Do you have anything to, else to say to Auntie Auntie Poppy? 
No. Oh, maybe, maybe we can wish her a nice iftar, inshallah. Yes, inshallah, you'll have lovely samosas to eat tonight. <laughs> oh, thank Salam, you so Kalfa. much. Salama. Salama. Ma salama. Ma salama. I hope you have a nice eat. Oh, oh thank Eid you. Mubarak to you too, Eid inshallah. Eid Mubarak in advance. Aww. Oh. She's the, such a lovely person. MashaAllah, so adorable. Oh, I yeah. love it. Aww. You know, people are so kind, especially the ones that call in. Yeah. They're so kind to us. And, they are, and, and yeah. I really, really appreciate yeah. it. Especially in the I month of Ramadan. It, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see Pip when he talks to his friends. Yeah. And I love them all. Oh. Yes. Does yes. it have really good And it's good very friends? important to see who your child's friends are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. That's really, really important. And he has, mashallah, yeah. uh -huh. great friends. Oh, alhamdulillah. 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 What a big blessing. Yes. And it must put you as a mother to so much ease. Oh, very right? much. Very much. Oh. Absolutely. You know, Auntie Poppy, I want to tell you about something that makes me upset though. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's it's this word. Yeah. Uh, tell me if you've ever heard this word before. Deforestation. Oh, ha have you heard of it? Um, it sounds like it has something to do with forests. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very oh, good. Oh, I'm close. <laughs> yeah. Very, deforestation. Yeah. <laughs> deforestation is when people cut down trees. Can you imagine? <gasps> that happens so often. <gasps> yeah. So many people cut down trees. Oh dear. Uh, and then do you know what happens? Yeah. We just cut down more and more. So trees are really, really good yeah. to use for things like paper and oh. cardboard. Oh. We use them every day, for example. Tables, chairs, beds. Yeah. Oh, my wow. kitchen. Exactly. Yeah. Your, your entire kitchen is probably yeah. made out of wood. Yes. And that comes from a tree. Oh, but, subhanallah. But sometimes when we use so much tree, like for example, you buy a new table and yeah. you're like, mm, I want a new table. Yeah. So I'm going to throw this old one away. That's not good. You should recycle it. Or when you finish mm. reading a book and you just throw it in the bin, mm. that's not good. You should recycle it. I definitely should do more yeah. recycling. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Because shall I tell you what happens if you don't recycle? What happens? Well, a ton of recycled paper mm. can save 17 trees, 380 gallons of oil and three yards of landfill space. That is more than yeah. what I can count. Yeah. That is a lot of trees. <laughs> Auntie Poppy. Yeah. You know when you go shopping? Yeah. Um, do you use like shopping bags? Yes, all the time. What kind of shopping Plenty bags? Plenty of shopping bags. Oh, do you, do yes, you, do you get them from the supermarket? Yes, I have a big family of monsters, you know. Oh, well, yeah. you must use a lot of yeah. shopping bags. Yeah, oh, lots of shopping with lots of bags. Well, do you use the plastic ones or do you use the, the te textile ones? Uh, well, they give us plastic ones in the shops. Ah. So, yeah, that's what I use. And I have plenty of them at home. Oh, really? I keep them. I use them for the bins. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can I tell you something? What? When you use plastic bags, yeah. it's not good for the environment. <gasps> yeah. You're hurting the earth. But <gasps> it's okay if you didn't know that. I think it's really important that if you do know, you can tell mm. other people. Well, I've learned so much today. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, because... I'm going to tell my, my neighbour. Oh, that's yeah. really, really good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah, she does the same as me. We go together shopping. Really? Yeah. Because if you use a plastic, first of all, Plastic bags are man-made, yeah. which means when you put them back into the environment, the environment doesn't know how to get rid of them. So, for oh. example, when when the earth makes soil and flowers yeah. and like beautiful plants, the earth can then eat it up again. But oh. because the earth hasn't made plastic bags, it's not natural. The oh. earth doesn't know how to eat it. So, earth eats things? Well, yeah, you could say that. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Earth, yeah. It, it won't eat me, would it? Um... Well, I hope not. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> it will probably eat your samosas. Cause yes, they are yes, delicious. Um, earth would love it. You know what uh, the Earth would eat? What? This carrot right here that I'm feeling. This carrot? Yeah, yeah. If we put this into the Earth, yeah, it would disappear because the Earth would have eaten it. Earth gets hungry too, just like me. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Well, the carrot looks delicious. Oh. Yeah. I can't wait to munch on it. I'm yeah, we shouldn't think of food of when we're fasting. Yeah, we should we just really shouldn't. try not to think of food too oh, much. You know, yeah. I could really do with a glass of water because oh. I am so thirsty May today. God bless you oh. and give you patience Insha and Allah. accept your fasting, oh. inshallah. Thank you, Auntie Poppy. Insha That's Allah. such kind words. Yeah. But you know, thinking of a glass of water, hmm? that reminds me, hmm? um, how is glass actually made? Yes. Do you know? Good question. Oh, you know, maybe we should ask... Uh, 
Ibn al Haytham. Ibn al Haytham will probably know. Ooh. Yeah. Ibn al Haytham. Ah. Yes, let's ask him. All right, let's have a look at an episode of I Look, I See. Hmm. Oh, my. Allah truly is amazing. Oh, oh. <laughs> assalamu alaikum and welcome, my explorer friends. I'm Ibn Haytham, and this is my marvelous telescope. It's special because it goes back in time and can visit any place you can think of. I sit here night after night admiring Allah's wonderful creation. Oh, what's that sound? Come, let's take a look and see. Subhanallah! It's the wonderfully glistening world of glass. Glass is something that has always been around on the earth. The first glass was not even made by man, would you believe? It was actually made by volcanoes. And the glass is a special glass called obsidian. What would happen is that when a volcano erupts, it shoots out dust and sand with it. Because the volcano also shoots out very hot lava too, the sand and dust melt slowly and pack together. Once the eruption is finished, the mixture of the sand and dust that has melted cools down very slowly, which turns into obsidian. Humans used to use this glass for tools like hammers or spears, as it was very hard and could be very sharp too. However, it was also very rare and hard to find. People first made glass around 5,000 years ago. It was made into jewellery, usually as a necklace or bracelet with small glass beads. The way they made it was by taking sand, much like some that you would see at a beach, and put it in a very hot fire until it melted. After it had melted, it would turn into a gooey liquid which would then be shaped while it was still being heated. Once they got the shape they wanted, they would remove the rest of the glass that wasn't needed and do the final shape up. Once the glass cooled down, the finished piece of glass was ready to use. Nowadays, we use glass for so many different things, many of which we use every single day. For example, glass is used to make windows for buildings. We use glass because we can see through it and it also allows the sun to shine into your house. We use glass to make cups too, of all different shapes and sizes. We also like to make glass decorations. A very nice thing about glass is when light shines through it, it will sparkle very brightly. And not only this, but glass is used to make different kinds of bulbs and lamps. It's used everywhere, in science and gardening, in your home or even at a restaurant. Wherever you can think of, it's probably used there. Talking of shining light through glass, have you ever been inside a church or cathedral with stained glass windows? Hmm. Have you ever wondered if the colours were painted on? Stained glass windows are made in a very special way. Come, let's take a look closer. There is a famous cathedral called Our Lady of Charles, and these stained glass windows tell us so much about the Christian religion. In 
medieval times, great churches were built so that people would remember God and think about his greatness. These churches were decorated with all sorts of artwork, all made to glorify the heavenly God. During the building of the churches and cathedrals, a new art form began, the stained glass window. A stained glass window is a bunch of different coloured pieces of glass that actually made a picture. In medieval times, sometimes they were just large pieces of coloured glass which made lots of pretty patterns. These beautiful windows provided light for the inside of the church in a way that also helped people to think about the idea that the church was a place to worship and think about God. So subhanAllah, glass has so many uses and it's all around us too. Allah created the gorgeous world and everything in it. It's been said that it's in possible to see the whole world in our lifetime, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't try. <laughs> I'm going to search for more and more of Allah's wonderful creations within this universe. So until next time, my explorer friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Oh, subhanallah. Mm. It was so beautiful see, to see the glass, especially the glass windows. I want that in my room, like a really colourful glass window. I know, like, you I know, loved it. I, I when, loved it and I it was, was so young. informative. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> when I was young, I went on a school trip to yeah. the beautiful church yeah. and I saw like the glass there and it was so pretty. Aww. And ever since then, I've always wanted one of those glasses oh, in my room. Oh, mashallah. How was it peeling? Peeling's good. I'm almost done. I think, I think that's the last stroke now. I've You're gone good. the whole You're way good. around. I think yeah. I can use you in my kitchen. Oh, mm. I would love to help out. Yeah, yeah. But carrot you know, peeler. Car um, so that's my new name, carrot peeler. Well, no, no. Your name is Muhammad the carrot peeler. Okay, Muhammad the yeah. carrot peeler. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Poppy, you're so silly. Ah. I have a story for you. Would you like to hear it? Oh, I love stories. Okay, awesome. Ah, okay. So this story is yeah. about a plastic bottle. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. And his friend, hmm? the can, because he can. No, I'm joking. Once upon a time, <laughs> once upon a time, actually, it was last year, there was a little plastic bag that kept getting swept to and fro all over the place. Hmm. He was sometimes taken on shopping trips. Sometimes he was used to put old rubbish in. Oh, dear. Oh. But worst of all, Sometimes he was used to put old, smelly, rotten food. No. Yeah. That's when he decided to run away and find other plastic bags just like him. Good he for him. <laughs> he didn't like the way he was tossed around and scrunched up no. and stuffed into the drawer. No one does. You do that to your plastic bags, don't you? Uh, silly, 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 silly. Yeah, I do. Actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He wanted to be a super plastic bag, mm. you know, like a real superhero. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so one morning he set off all by himself and my, what adventures did he have? First of all, he got swept down a small river wow. where he met loads of other old rubbish. Exciting. A, a can that was old and rusting called out for help to him. Aww. Excuse me, plastic bag, can you help me? I'm trying to find my way to the recycling center. Oh, poor thing. Said the fizzy lost. drink can. Yeah, he was probably very lost. Probably one of mine. <laughs> A recycling center? What on earth is that? Said the plastic bag. Mm. Well, you know, it's somewhere that things can be reused again by being made into something new. Amazing. I hate looking like this. I want to be made into something shiny, new and very useful, replied the fizzy drink can, because he was really, really rusty and, you know, mm. scrunched up. And yeah, scratched can't blame up. him. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
thought the plastic bag, I wonder if the same thing can be done for me. Ooh. Okay, fizzy drink can, I'll help you find the way, but only if you promise that I can be made into something nice and new too. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the plastic bag said. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And you know what? We're not very far away either. Hmm. Can you carry me? I am ever so rusty, said the fizzy drink can. Poor thing. Definitely. Yeah. Hop in, said the plastic bag. Hmm. So off they went, singing and talking to each other, when they found themselves at the huge recycling centre with big tanks. Some for wood, some for metal, wow. plastics, glass, paper and cardboard. Amazing. Well, we look at this place. I'm sure that we can be made into something new, said the fizzy drink can. Mm. You bet we can, replied the plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> so off they went on their separate ways, the fizzy drink can into the metal tank and the plastic bag into a soft plastic tank. Wow. So remember, this is why I told you it's so important to, for example, you can't put a plastic bottle or a plastic bag into this bin. Yes. Because this is where the compost goes. Yes. And you I've can't put that. a fizzy drink can where the plastic goes. Yes. Because then yes. the recycling centre will get really confused. Mm, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, all cans want to be shiny again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's absolutely right. I'm so sorry to all those cans that I threw in the bin. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Aww. I hope they can hear me. I, I hope they can forgive us. Yeah, forgive me. Aww, yeah, so I will sweet, recycle Archie. you from now on so you don't have to be lost and having to ask another plastic bag for help. <laughs> Although she was very kind to help. Uh, yeah. Okay, all was quiet. But then a few days later, just when the recycling centre was about to open, out popped the fizzy drink can as a brand new shiny tray. SubhanAllah! And the plastic bag was turned into something useful. A useful container. Wow! I think I have a container somewhere. Oh, <gasps> look, this is, this is just like the container that the plastic bag became. Wow, that's amazing! And I use it all the time. In fact, once I cut up these carrots and beans, I'm gonna put it into this plastic container and take them home. That is great! Subhanallah. Subhanallah indeed. Yes, they yes, looked alhamdulillah. Amazing. <laughs> yes, I'm so grateful that we have all those recycling bins now. Oh, alhamdulillah. Yes, alhamdulillah. And they were, they were so happy to be useful again. And you know what? What? When they did end up in new homes, they were used again and again. Yes. No one would be tossing these guys around. No way. That is great. Aww. Absolutely useful story and so exciting. And I love stories with happy endings. Alhamdulillah. 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 They're all happy now. Yeah, yeah they are shine. very happy. You know, it makes me wonder because Allah created this world so beautiful. Yeah. And it's our responsibility. In fact, you know what? Yeah. Last night, the Sheikh was saying that Allah created the whole world just for us. Really? It's, yeah, it's in the Quran. Allah says something like the fact that the seas and the oceans and the mountains and they were all created just for us, just so that we can enjoy them. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Thank you, God. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And, you know, I think it's our responsibility. If if we don't take care of the environment, that's a shame on mm. us. Yeah. That will be very ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who's yeah. given us earth to look after. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. But I'm so sorry. Auntie, I'm so sorry. Auntie Poppy? Yeah. How, how was the earth actually created? Do you know? Oh, that's a very interesting question. Yeah. You always have interesting questions. Oh, thank yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. How uh, was it created? Auntie Poppy? Yeah? Ma maybe we could ask uh, Little Sheikh and Big Sheikh and Ooh. find out. Oh, yes, yes, yeah? please. Let's, okay. let's ask them. Let's join them on the Super Chef. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum dear children and welcome to Super Sheikhs. I'm Big Sheikh Hassan. And I'm Little Sheikh Hussein. That's correct. Uh, thank you for sending in your question. It's a brilliant question. Dear Super Sheikhs, Earth is a wonderful place. How did God create it? Little Sheikh Hussein, how did God create the Earth? 
God created earth. God created the earth because he's all powerful and all knowing. If he's all powerful, he'll, he would be able to do it. If he's all knowing, he would he, if he's all knowing, he would know how to do it. That's correct. You said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful and all knowing. If he's all powerful, of course it'd be very easy for him to do it. And um, if he's all knowing, he would know how to do it and the best way to do it. So, we as Muslims believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the earth in six days. Not six days in, in the time of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but six days of earth time, right? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that. It didn't take much effort to do it because if he wants something, he does it quickly. He does it just like that. He just says, be, and it is, and it becomes, right? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, kun faya kun. That means, be, and it is, and it becomes, straight away. Not like in a minute or a two seconds. No, instantly, straight away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that powerful that whatever he wants, to be created, it just happens. Just happens, right? If we want, for example, to build a, to build a building, right? It takes months and months and hard work, right? Yeah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants something. He just says, be in it. Happens. Straight away. If we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful, then why did he create the earth in this way? Why didn't he make why did he make so many con continents? Why didn't he just make it one? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in yep, go on. He did create it in one continent, but over time there were earthquakes, so it split. That's correct. But when we were created, when we humans were created, the continents did exist. Yeah. Right? That's at the time of the dinosaurs when it used to be one yeah right but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says that he has created people in every land and with their own language so they can differentiate between themselves for example I speak English Arabic and German and you speak uh, like in between Arabic and English. Right. So a little Arabic? Like a medium. Well, your Arabic is good. For a nine-year-old, your Arabic is very good. So you speak English very, very well and Arabic also very, very well. Right? So everyone knows a different language. Or most of the people know different languages. That's so they can differentiate between themselves. If I speak Arabic, I am from Arabia, from the uh, area of Arabia. When someone speaks Urdu, he's from? The area of Pakistan. That's correct. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created people in every single land with their own language so they can differentiate between them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created so many things in this earth that are so fascinating. And we still are discovering it. But do you know what the problem is? We try to discover everything around us where we as humans don't know as much about ourselves, right? We have to first of all make sure that we know ourselves first, then we can discover what, what is all around us, right? Yep. Scientists are finding new species of animals in the deepest parts of the ocean. They're still scuba diving all the way down. <laughs> also, they're using a lot of ma machine and technology. That's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the earth making sure giving us resources to be able to develop, right? Yep. So, what did we talk about? We talked about uh, Allah gave us resources to develop. Yes. We need to learn about ourselves before we need to learn about the things around us. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And we also mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the earth in how many days? Six days. So, thank you for sending in your question. If you have any other questions, do send them in. And thank you for watching. And Ma'asalama.
Oh, thank you, Super Chef. Thank That's you. That's so kind of you guys to Very explain kind. to us. Very kind. Uh, I love them. They're yeah. great. Yeah, they're yeah. so knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah. very really, knowledgeable. They really are superheroes, I must say. They are, yeah. yeah. I always watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you watch Do you watch a show when Pip is on? Of course. Really? Of course. I uh, always have the TV on when, I, when I'm in the kitchen. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I can cook and entertain myself. <laughs> well, when he's not on the TV, does he tend to help you out in the kitchen? Oh, well, yeah. about that. Yeah. Pip, uh, Pip, if you can hear me, <laughs> I'm going to embarrass you right now. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, he's a good boy. Yeah. He is, I must yeah. say. You are, Pip. You are a good Camilla, boy. I agree. But he's very kind. Yes, he is. Yeah. Sometimes I do have to nag. Oh. Yes. I think most of us mothers do have to nag sometimes, <laughs> which is... Which is pretty annoying. Really? Yes. How does it make you feel when he doesn't oh, listen to you? Oh, it is tiring. Trust Aww. me. It is tiring that I have to ask for help. Really? Because, yeah. you see, it's not really help. Uh -huh. You see, when you children yeah. are doing chores in the house, yeah. you're not helping. You're doing a duty. Oh. You live in this house. Uh huh. So you're really not, it's not called help. It's called a duty because a you live there. It's not a hotel, <laughs> right? That's what my mum keeps telling me, that yeah, it's not a hotel. It's not. Oh. When you live in a place, you have to keep it clean. You yeah. have to do your part. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't like nagging. I don't like it when I have to get angry oh. or I have to start, you know, getting slightly louder. Yeah. Like, Pip! Pip! <laughs> Come on, Pip! Come on! Uh, yeah, I don't like it. You don't. You know what's I, a real I struggle? I be smiling all the time. <laughs> I do. I like smiling. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. You know what's a real struggle in my house? What? When I was younger, my mom used to wake me up for fudger. Yeah. And like, I remember her nagging, nagging, saying, Muhammad Ali, wake up, exactly. wake up. Exactly. So many it's, times. I know how she feels. And, and now because my little sister, sometimes yeah. I wake her up and I understand how difficult see? it is. See? No, yeah. now you know how it feels. Yeah. I hope one day when Pip grows up, he will know how it feels, just oh. like you do. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're good, Muhammad Ali. Mashallah. I'm sure Alhamdulillah. your mum is very proud of you. I have yeah. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Auntie Poppy. Yeah. I wanted to share something about because we talked about waste and you know recycling yeah. and how you can recycle and why you should recycle. Yeah. I wanted to talk about. There's a verse in the Quran hmm? and it talks about recycling essentially. Oh, I love Quran. Yeah. I How love amazing it. Is that? So the yeah. Quran says, what, what's, the, what's the magic word that we should use before we use before we recite the Quran? Bismillah. Yeah, that's Bismillah right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That's right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Quran says, O oh people, do not waste for Allah does not like the wasteful. <gasps> Wow. Yeah, Allah so, doesn't like those So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about recycling in the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So so sometimes, for example, when when my mom cooks really, really yummy food, yeah. like like when she makes my favorite, when she makes chicken nuggets, yeah. or sometimes she makes a super nice chicken curry. Yeah, just and, like mine. Yeah? Yeah. And sometimes she makes chocolate Mine is better. Cake. Is yours better? Well, probably, well, but I'm, yeah. I better, I better come to your house and find out. <laughs> You're welcome. Your mom too. Oh, yeah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Auntie, yeah. sometimes I take too much food in my plate because I get really excited. Like, I'm so in love with the food. Yeah. And I, I take so much that I can't even finish it. Yeah, I and, know. And yeah. Then, and then, like, I'm like, Mom, what do I do with my food now? Mm. And she's like, I told you, told mm. you, better not do a straw. Mm. So, she makes me put it in a container, yeah. which is really good. Great. And then I put it in the fridge. But you know, some of my friends mm? at school I see in the lunch hall. Yeah. When they can't, when they can't finish their food, they put it in the bin, and it it really Ooh, breaks my heart. Astaghfirullah. And that is doing uh, that is being wasteful. That is wasteful. Yeah. I always tell Pip yeah. never ever waste yeah. food. Good. God doesn't like Good. wasters. Good. You're absolutely right. Yeah. We read that in the Quran. Yeah. Yeah. Masha Allah. Yeah. But Auntie Poppy, let me remind you. Yeah. That if you don't recycle then you're also wasting. 
but from now on you're definitely going to recycle oh, right oh i am i am i absolutely yeah? am i've learned my lesson today okay i have i've learned a lot yeah Shall i'm going to recycle and i'm going to get one of those one of those bins that you one have one of these there. yeah Dude, these yeah. are amazing yeah it's great yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but make sure you clean it otherwise it will become smelly Oh, 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 I love cleaning. Yeah? Well, I love it when people help me cleaning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, like Allah. when Pip helps me cleaning. Yeah? Then it's more, more nicer. You know what? You know what the Sheikh told me? What? He said that when I help my mom, yeah. like when I, when I serve her, yeah. I'm essentially like serving Allah, oh. which, which is the best thing that you could do. Yes. So because, helping your mom because, is like amazing. Yes. Yeah. You know what? Because when your mom prays for you, yeah. then her du'as are most likely accepted. Oh, yes. Subhanallah. So you really need to make your mom happy so she can pray for you all the time. You, because when your mom is happy with you, uh -huh. then inshallah, Allah will be happy with you. Oh, inshallah. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what? I really feel inspired. I want to go and help out. I'm going to find something to do. I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Inshallah. Inshallah. Have a beautiful day. Oh, it's been great. And a nice iftar. And it's so nice having you on to Oh, thank you, Muhammad. You're oh. so lovely. Ma salama. Ma salama.